Today I'm very excited to show you that my cross-pollination was successful and I have it has resulted in two seed pods on my Schlumbergera truncata. And these are my Thanksgiving cacti. Here's a big grouping of them in one pot. And I cross-pollinated by just touching two open flowers and making sure that the pollen from each flower got on the opposite flower's stamen. And apparently this did the trick and I have that seed pod and I have this one too. And you can tell that there's a seed pod because it will form this pod and the flower will stay on the plant. Um, it will dry up but it will stay on the plant. And if it hasn't been pollinated, the flower will just fall off. And a lot of people will use either a Q-tip or a little brush to brush the pollen back and forth, and that's a, a very good method. Lynn Kimberly on Desert Plants of Avalon has a very good method, and she ends up with lots of seed pods. And she's had luck planting the seeds, so if you want to check out that technique, that, those are some wonderful videos on her channel. And that's how I learned that you could do this. You could cross-pollinate two plants. But I am so excited. Now I just have to wait about six to eight months and the fruit pod will be ripe and I'll be able to harvest the seed. Um, according to her, you have to wait until it turns a reddish color and it becomes a little bit soft and that is the right time to harvest your seed. So it does take a while and all I did was really touch the two flowers together make sure that the pollen got on the opposite flower's stamen. So it was super easy and I did also want to show you what's starting to happen here which used to cause me great concern and that is that the, the after blooming the plant gets pretty wrinkly. It almost looks dehydrated. But this is a normal process and after a plant winds down its blooming, it goes into a little, it needs a little rest period. So it's not going to look its best for about a month um, as it's expended all of its energy into producing these beautiful flowers. So that's nothing to worry about. You just hold back on the watering a bit and give it a chance to rest. And then it should bounce back in a month or two. But here's two flowers that haven't bloomed yet. But these are some of my favorite cacti. And I am delighted that I'm going to have some seed and I can experiment with growing this plant from seed. So thanks for tuning in guys. Bye.